Born in 123 BC, Quintus Sertorius was a Roman statesman and military commander who defied his home country and conquered most of what is now Spain by the age of 46. Accompanied by a white fawn claimed to be a gift from the moon goddess Diana, Sertorius received insights that informed his strategies for battle. In one instance, he led an army of 8,000 men against more than 120,000. He explained his method of defeat using the image of a horse's tail. Though the entire tail cannot be taken out with one pole, removing each hair individually will result in success. Sertorius gained respect and popularity quickly due to his inspiring strength, but it came at a price. Eventually, his own senate grew jealous of his authority. So while he was enjoying himself at a banquet, while enjoying plenty of liquid libations as he came to drown himself in during the later years, the once adorned Sertorius was assassinated at age 51. On Friday, June 23rd, we have a Cancer New Moon at 10.30 p.m. This new moon will deal with dedication, but also the risk of becoming too prideful and clouded by vices like alcohol. This new moon occurs right after Letha, or the summer solstice, when the sun enters the Tropic of Cancer. Seeds planted during this new moon will come to fruition during the wolf moon, or the July full moon. Around this time in nature, bucks are getting their antlers, daylight is at its peak, and thunderstorms and rainstorms are plentiful. At the time of this new moon, Mars will be at 12 Cancer. The Sabian symbol for 12 Cancer is a Chinese woman nursing a baby whose aura reveals him to be the reincarnation of a great teacher. Here's what Dane Rudar has to say about this Sabian symbol. The promise to all men that God may take birth within their souls. So Mars leads the stellium at 12 degrees Cancer and following him are Mercury at 5 and the Sun and Moon. So this will make things very intense and very forward moving but with those other planets behind there will be a lot of introspection and intuition because Cancer is ruled by the Moon and very receptive. The Sabian symbol for five, Cancer, where Mercury will be, is at a railroad crossing, an automobile is wrecked by a train. This means that we may have omens or stimulating message from beyond that may come through, but the truth may hurt in the end. So be on the lookout for things that are calling your attention. The sun and moon will be at two degrees, Cancer, and the Sabian symbol for two, Cancer, is a man on a magic carpet hovers over a large area of land. This symbolizes ascending consciousness, nurturing energy, and a risk of isolation. Also during this 2017 Cancer New Moon, Pluto trines Venus, which will give sensual ease. Take this opportunity to reclaim your sexual power and attune with the Divine Feminine. Neptune and Chiron and Pisces stir up emotional security, testing our ability to feel the depths of our pain, which can tempt us down a path of bitter destruction if not handled well. Beware of power struggles, domestic disputes, defense mechanisms on high, and passive-aggressive behavior. Just remember to fill your own cup. Mars's fall may be in Cancer, but that doesn't mean it can't be productive there. Like a soldier in the kitchen, Mars in Cancer gets creative with what it has, and combined with Mercury, the Sun, and Moon, it will give a psychic boost. It will also be easy to recall memories at this time because of the concentrations of planets in Cancer, which is the most sensitive sign of the Zodiac. Themes for this new moon in Cancer are home, kitchen, hunting, sexual maturity, defense, comfort, security, nutrition, addiction, alcoholism, victimization, determination, chaos, creation, motherhood, and salvation. And as far as animal guides go, a really good one would be the Deer Mother, where a lot of our Christmas traditions come from. In the north, where it's very cold, people depend on reindeer for most of their life. If you look back at ancient art from those regions, you'll find that they worship female reindeer gods because female reindeer have antlers, which is very magical. Deer are also associated with the home and the hearth. In Beowulf, they stay at Herat, which literally translates to Hall of Heart, and Heart is another name for deer. So 
you can see there's a direct correlation between the deer and the home and security. Another animal you could think about is the Arethmanian boar, which is just a personification of the ugly side of the divine feminine when she has nothing left she has to attack. And it is one of the creatures that Heracles had to slay during the labors of Heracles. Colors you could use during this new moon are black, silver or blue, and storm blue, that beautiful turquoise color the sky turns when there's about to be a thunderstorm or a tornado. Of course you could use moonstone at a time like this during a new moon or a full moon, but I feel like a good crystal for this new moon in particular would be shungite because it has a very strong protective energy, so if you want to have a shield around you and take advantage of that strong Martian energy that will be there, Shungite is really good. It's used in Russian water purification systems because of its anti-cancerous and anti-radioactive properties. It's amazing. Shungite. You could also use Azurite. There's some little blue azurite crystals on here. It's good for psychic visions and also power. I feel like it's just a very good power stone while still being sensitive and open to higher dimensions. Very magical, very royal feeling crystal. As this is a new moon and moon is feminine, I feel like we should look to goddesses. Artemis, the hunter. Mat. Sahit. Nath. Banka Mundi. Aditi, and she's not a goddess, but I feel like Grendel's mother from Beowulf, since we mentioned Beowulf, is a good character to think about at this time because she is a mother and she's of the water, like Cancer, but she has a strong Martian quality because she wants to avenge her son's death. She wants to fight. So to wrap up, this may be an emotional new moon that could push your buttons, but has the potential to break through and you could learn more about what true security means for you, physical and emotional. Remember that blood flows more during water moons, so be careful around sharp objects as you don't want to puncture your skin and bleed, bleed and bleed. I hope you guys have a safe new moon and are able to start something new at home. Maybe rearrange your furniture or do something a little more deep. Start a new diet, research veganism or the exploitation of animals and what really goes on in the food industry. You could do anything. And I found a great quote to leave you with for this Cancer new moon. Imagination is a womb with a view. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something about cancer or new moons or this new moon that happens after the summer solstice. It does happen every year, but this year is really special because it will be that stellium and Mars conjunction. So subscribe to Nick Folk TV and have a good cancer new moon. I'll see you later. Bye!